So Jack, welcome back, first of all. We know you've been with us for a number of weeks training. How does it feel to be back and how do we get to this point? It feels very good. Um, from the minute I walked in the door three weeks ago, um, it felt natural. You know, everyone made me feel welcome. It was like I've, I've not been away. Uh, obviously, I know a lot of the boys here, I know a lot of the staff, and it felt very natural to come back here and, and firstly be involved in training. And, and then it just happened over the last couple of weeks. I obviously uh, impressed the coaching staff and I was impressed by the way they work and the way the club's heading and what, what they want to do and get back in the Premier League, obviously. And yeah, I'm happy to be back and just can't wait to get started. He talked about the coaches, Jason Tindall's obviously someone you know very well, a lot of old faces and the playing staff as well. How important was it to have that kind of connection with the club? Well, I think that's that's why I felt comfortable to pick up the phone to to Jace. You know, I think it was around about the twenty second of December. You know, I'd been away from the game for a while, been training on my own, but um, it gets to a certain point where you, as a footballer, you need to be around football players and, and, and do football training instead of just running. And I had a lot of time to reflect um, on what I wanted to do as well. And I picked up the phone to Jason. He was, you know, he was helpful and said, yeah, come down, train with the boys, keep your fitness up. And and it went from there really. And I think the fact that I've been here before and and um, I know everyone, that's why I, I wanted to come back and, and first of all train. And obviously now I want to, I want to sign and help the team. And it's been a strange season for clubs up and down the country. How has it been for you in terms of that first bit where you were by yourself doing a lot of running, as you said there, but then coming in with us as well? How's that been? Yeah, as I said, you know, I did a lot of, of physical training, but you know, the hardest part was probably mentally and, and dealing with, with not being around uh, a team, players, and, you know, because you can, you can set up a session, especially with all, all the COVID rules, I had to set up sessions on my own and, and do a lot of running, and, and that was really the easy part. The toughest part was mentally dealing with the fact that I'd spent my whole life you know, in and around a team, you know, competing with with other players, and I missed that. And you know, as soon as I came back in the door here, I had that straight away. You know, I never felt like an outsider, even when I was 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 allowed into training. I was straight in with the boys, um, involved in all the training sessions, and everyone made me feel really welcome. And you'll be no doubt aware that there's a lot of games on the horizon for FC Bournemouth. How ready for you are you for you to, to play in them if you're selected? Yeah, well, that's with the conversations I've been having with, with Jace as well. You know, obviously, I've done a block of three weeks of training with, with the boys and with the fitness staff you know, on the days that they were playing. So I am, I am ready to go, but at the same time, um, this league allows you to get up to speed really quick because, of, as you mentioned, the games, they come thick and fast. So hopefully I can be involved straight away and, and get my match fitness and, and be available as soon as possible to help the boys. And three weeks training with the side. I'm sure you'll have seen some of our games in the last two, three weeks as well. What have you thought of how we're playing, what we're doing and how you can add yourself to that team? Well, the team's changed a lot since I was here. Um, when I was here, I was almost like a young player. You know, I, was, I think I was 24 and we had the likes of Frano and Chaz and players who were older than me and you know, they, I learned a lot from them about the club and about the way this club is run and the, the non-negotiables that you have to have to be part of this team and that is hard work and you know, I really enjoyed my time here um, when I was here last time and as I said the team's changed and now there's a lot of young players you know I'm almost I'm one of the older players now and you know, I can hopefully help the young players and and try and get them back into the Premier League because there's a lot of quality in this squad. And I know as my time in the Premier League, as a player, you want to be in the Premier League and any time out of it is, is a year missed and a year is a long time in football. So, you know, the young players of this club want to be playing at the highest level and they deserve to be. So let's, let's do all we can to get them back there. Yeah, and you talk about getting us back there, back to the Premier League, where I'm sure that that is the aim for us this season. What about for yourself personally? What do you want to see before the end of the season? Well, I want to play as, as, as much as possible. And, and the main thing is to try and help the team. Um, it's, it's a difficult uh, league, this one. You know, after speaking to, 
to a lot of the players who have played in the Premier League with, with Bournemouth, this, is, this brings different challenges and you know, I'm ready to embrace that. And it's also nice to you know, be fighting for something, you know, come straight in and the team is uh, looking for promotion. They're right in the thick of it. The games are coming thick and fast and you know, I want to be part of that and try and help the boys. And there was, you talk about the connection you have with the club. Part of that is with the fans as well. They certainly took to you last time. You seem to take to them as well. It's such a shame, unfortunately, they won't be in the stadiums for the next distant part of the future to see you. But that connection will be felt on social media, will be felt throughout the club. And I'm, I'm sure you'll feel that as well. Yeah, even you know, when I came here, they were great to me. And even when I left, you know, I've always received a lot of love on, on social media, as you mentioned, from, from the Bournemouth fans wishing me well when I went to West Ham and and... Yeah, I mean, listen, the club, any club, is only as, as big as this fan base. And I know this this fan base have been through a lot with, with this club. And I think that's why the relationship with the club is so special. And as a player, if you buy into that and give your all, you're going to get love. And that's what I'm trying to do. And now it's time to get started, right? Yeah, and I can't wait. And as I said, the games are coming thick and fast. And you know, it starts tomorrow. Let's try and get the three points.